So food has like been your passion cooking and stuff, yeah. right? So why? Because I feel like you guys, because there's like a new, like hot chicken's always been a thing, but there's like this new, yeah, like yeah. everywhere you go now, there's it's a, a hot chicken spot. Oh, yeah. Especially in the valley. Yeah, yeah. I feel like every other corner, there's a new, yeah, like, you gotta have fake Dave's popping up. <laughs> right, right. Wherever you fucking go. Like, I was. <laughs> Dave's not chicken. Oh, um, I was at the Glendale Mall in the new spot, and there's a hot chicken place. I was like, look oh, at yeah. this. It's fucking yeah, yeah, popping yeah, up yeah, everywhere. Yeah. You had it too. Um, but um, you guys are. Very responsible for like a trend in like restaurants. Yeah. yeah. Um, why hot chicken? Um, I mean, it's a pretty crazy story. I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll, so, go for so, it. Um, so hot chicken uh, started kind of like we've always been a big fan of fried chicken, right? Right. So hot chicken kind of started getting trending in LA. You know, one of the chefs had it in Nashville, brought it down to LA. And uh, me and Dave tried it and immediately, I mean, we fell in love with it, right? We're like, dude, this is so good. And uh, we're like, well, dude, you know, you're like, you're a chef. You know, I, I have like a little bit of background in marketing. I'm pretty good at, you know, social media, whatever. I'm like, hey, what if we got together and we made a recipe? And, 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 you know, what if we tried to like get in on this trend? But uh, the funny thing is like at the time, we were obviously dead broke. You know, mm -hmm. Dave is working at a restaurant. That doesn't pay anything. Right. I'm, I'm doing acting, which doesn't pay anything, right? right? Uh, and then we had a, a third friend named Tommy who I met in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. So the three of us linked up and we're like, all right, well, why don't we just work on a recipe for now, right? Like, okay, we don't have money for something. Let's just, let's just work on a recipe. So we, we go to Dave's house every day and our day was just like, you know, we finish up work, go to Dave's house, uh, you know, start cooking up food in his kitchen, you know, buy just the ingredients and cook it. And uh, we might have done this for like five months where we just worked on a recipe. Wow. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then one day the recipe was kind of done, right? And there's only so much you can do. And so we're like sitting there at Dave's house like, all right, well, we have the food, but like, what do, what do we do? Like, we have no money, you know? Like, how do we, how do we get this out there? Like, mm -hmm. how do we sell this to people, right? So uh, our friend Tommy's like, uh, well, uh, what, what if we try like a pop-up, you know? We, we could do some, some, some sort of like pop-up, just pop-up somewhere. And another one of our friends is like, yeah, he's like, I know a lot of people that do that. He's like, they'll pop up at places, they'll wrap their stuff up at night, and then they'll just leave. So we're like, all right, well, we could we could probably get together a pop-up, right. right? So we started scrapping together a little bit of money, dude. And uh, we literally, no bullshit, we scrapped together $900. That's all we can get. Wow. Dave took his last check, 300 bucks. Yep. I had like a few hundred bucks saved up. Tommy's like, I'll, I'll put in the rest, whatever we need. So we went to uh, Target. You know, we bought like a little canopy. Mm -hmm. we, we went on Craigslist and whatever. We bought a little fryer. We took some tables from our parents' houses and some chairs. And uh, we... <laughs> Popped up one day, right? Yeah, yeah. Tommy uh, uh, linked up with uh, this guy that he used to work with, and he uh, offered to give us, like, one little spot in a parking lot. It was literally one spot in a public parking lot. Wow. So we set up our shop over there, posted on social media that we're open, and our first night we had, like, 40 bucks. Obviously, it's just a bunch of kids in a parking lot. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we just... You know, started like pushing on social media. You know, we, we knew we had a good product. We started, you know, we'd run around the block screaming, we got chicken, we got chicken. We were yeah. literally screaming, hey, we got chicken, come buy some chicken. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and then we got noticed. We got noticed. We got written up in an article. Uh, we got written up in Eater LA. And uh, this guy wrote an insane article about as far as the LA. What year is this? This is 2017. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. And then, do we get to the, yeah, we get to the pop up the next day after the I article. lived here in 2017. Yeah, it was on Hollywood Boulevard, dude. Uh, it was right on um, Hollywood and Normandy. Yeah, do you know where Jumbo's Clown Room is? Yeah. 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 It was literally next across step. the street. We'd go to the line, we'd go to the Jumbo's line and hand out samples to people. <laughs> like, hey, you'll come get some chicken. Yeah. And then the next day, there was like 90 people in our pop up, like what? waiting for us when we got there. What? Yeah. The and that was yeah. early. That was like the first week we were there. Yeah, it was like five days in. Yeah. Okay, so you guys get a buzz. Yeah. Obviously, you're kind of like the talk of the town. Yeah. When for, Where's your first brick and mortar, mortar location? Where's that at? That's on Western. Yeah, mm. close by. It was like a mile away. Yeah. So I think pretty early on, we realized- Seven like, months into it. Yeah. And then we realized like, yo, this is pretty big. You know, like if, yeah. if we're pretty responsible with this, like we could really blow it up and we could be really professional. So we started getting really disciplined. And every dollar we make, we'd invest back into the pop-up until we couldn't anymore. Mm -hmm. And then every other dollar after that kind of just went to saving up to, like, get a brick and mortar. 